This simulation is referred to as a gizmo, and it comes from Explore eLearning. This gizmo is an acid-base titration. In this gizmo, you titrate uh, something of a known concentration against something of an unknown concentration. And you have the ability to change not only the concentration, but also the analyte of the substance that's in the burette, the titrant as well as your analyte. Your analyte you will not know the concentration of, but you can pick where you can even choose. It will give you a random analyte. And then you can also change the indicator that you will be using in the titration. So to start with the titration, right now we have a solution that's yellow, and it tells us over here that we will reach the end point when this solution turns blue. So to begin adding the substance that's in the burette, we are going to begin letting it flow and you can let it go fairly fast in the beginning. It's starting to turn blue, so we're going to slow it down. And we're going to stop when the solution stays blue. That's going to be our end point. Almost there. We are there. So now what I'm going to want to do is I want to calculate the concentration of my HBR solution. I'm going to come over to my worksheet and I'm going to notice right here that this is the balanced chemical equation. And I'm going to notice that one mole of HBR reacts with one mole of sodium hydroxide. So in my setup, I want to know in my balanced chemical equation, I have one mole of HBr, and I have one mole of sodium hydroxide. Now I'm going to come over to my data. Well, how many milliliters of sodium hydroxide did I use? I used 21 milliliters. Now how many milliliters did I have in my flask of HBr? I had 100 milliliters. And what was my concentration of my sodium hydroxide? It was 1.00 moles per liter. So now that I've entered my values, I'm going to ask my gizmo to do the calculation. And it comes up with the concentration of my HBR solution is being 0.21 moles per liter or molarity. And I can go ahead and check this and see if I am correct. And it gives me the feedback. So if I had ended up adding too much sodium hydroxide, let's just add a few more drops. And I get a concentration of 0.22 moles per liter. Well, it tells me that I used an incorrect amount of titrant, so I do get some feedback. And I can go ahead and reset, start over again, or I can choose a different titrant and a different unknown. This gizmo also comes with five assessment questions. These questions do not change. They're always the same. When you have answered the five questions, you can check your answers and you're automatically graded and you'll be given feedback for any incorrect responses. And this is the titration gizmo from Explore eLearning.